also at uh, my post hoc testing to look at the differences between location 1 and 2 because I know there is no difference between location 1 and 3. Now when I did that with the median test it gave me only an exact significance value. I want the chi-square and the effect size so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my data select cases and I'm only going to select if my group is less than 3. So I only want to look at group 1 and 2. So what's that going to give me when I do my crosstabs analysis? The same crosstabs. Uh, it gives me a bigger phi and a bigger, uh, well, a big, uh, the chi-square isn't as big, but the significance value is uh, still significant and um, slightly more so. The, the first time I got a chi-square of 8.72 with 2 degrees of freedom and a p equal 0 0.013, that's for the omnibus uh, median test. Now, when I only wanted to look at location 1 and 2, this is the uh, median test analysis I got. I got a chi-square of 6.66, 6 rather, one degree of freedom, and a uh, significance of p equal 0 0.01. So because that's less than 0 0.05, I end up with a statistically significant effect. And in another uh, video series, I said you should pretty much always ignore the continuity correction. I think it's way too strict, and I provide references for why it's too strict. And then I get my estimate of effect size, a phi of 0.471, which is a pretty, pretty big effect. So we know location 1 and 2 is statistically significant from each other. And we could follow that up by ex actually looking at what the medians are for location 1 and 2, uh, which we don't get in the median test, which is surprising. We're doing a median test, and it doesn't actually give us the medians. There's actually no way of getting the medians in the median test. But if we go to here, click on medians through my free, uh, just the regular old frequencies uh, for drinks, and I click OK, I'm going to get my uh, median. Whoops, it actually gave me the median for the total sample. I want to split that across groups. So split file and organize output by groups. Click OK and I look at the medians again. Actually, I'll, I'll probably want to select all my data, so I'm going to get rid of my filter so that I can actually look at all my medians, which are actually going to be the same for location 1 and 3. So we can see that the median uh, median for group 1 is 3, the median for group 2 is 9, and the median for group 3 is 3, as we would expect based on the median test, because the observations below and above were equal. But at least we can uh, now look at the median 3 and 9. We can report that in an analysis, and that's a pretty big difference. Standard drinks 3 in group 1 and location 2, the median number of standard drinks is 9. Uh, we've got a statistically significant effect comparing group 1, location 1 and 2 with a phi, with a uh, Pearson chi-square 6.65, one degree of freedom. It's uh, significant at equal 0 .01, 0 0.01, rather. And I've got my phi effect size of 0 0.471, and then I could also report the medians by splitting the groups. It's the only way to do it, unfortunately. Uh, and I get a median of 3 and 9. Uh, now, I'm not following this up with a difference between location 2 and 3, because I know it's exactly the same as location 1 and 2 in this one case based on the data I've got. And I also don't follow it up with a postdoc based on the difference between group 1 and 3 because they're exactly the same. The medians are the same and the the low and high below and average uh, below and above is also the same for group 1 and 3. But if it weren't then you would have to follow it up with with that po post-hoc testing. Now in my post-hoc testing I didn't do any Bonferroni correction. Maybe you would feel like you would have to do that. Uh, something for you to consider. In my opinion uh, you could possibly refer to Kesselman's study that I actually give a reference to in the Kruskal Wallace test uh, video series where if you have four or less groups then maybe you should feel confident doing um, a, uh, a follow-up of four uh, or three to four uh, post-hoc tests without having to worry about a Bonferroni correction. Anyway, I'll leave that to you.
At least now you know how to do a median test. It's actually a pretty good test. And what I'll also point out is that in the Omnibus statistic, where I get a chi-square 8.72 and a significance of 0 0.013, this is actually more significant than the Kruskal-Wallis analysis on these same on these same data. L let me show you a quick clicky quickly doing a Kruskal-Wallis on these.